Hey you guys, it's 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to be reviewing Taken 2. And yes, I have not used my mom's iPad in a while to do my reviews and all that stuff. I know I should because I admit it does have better quality on my videos. But, uh, I don't know, I've, I've been forgetting lately. I have no idea why. I shouldn't forget, but I am. Anyways, here I am to be reviewing Taken 2. Now, I heard about... When Taken 2 came out, um, I remember the day back when George Lopez still has talk show Lopez Tonight. I remember Liam Neeson announced it. It was like February of last year, I believe, right? And so I got excited. But then uh, after seeing the trailer and actually thinking it over, uh, I was like, is there really a need for a sequel? Because really, it's kind of, yeah. And then uh, even though a sequel really, and I mean really, wasn't necessary. Um, I was going to go ahead and go on board with the sequel because I'm going to be like, you know what? Maybe it'll be just as awesome as the first. And was it? Hell no. No, it was not awesome like the first. In fact, not even close. This is This movie is majorly disappointing I had hopes for the sequel hoping it wouldn't suck and man was it a pretty bad movie this is by far one of the worst movies I've seen in 2012 it's not worth watching in theaters it's more worth watching at a rental I mean if you want to see Liam Neeson kick some ass then that's great if you want to that's fine I'm, I'm not stopping you I'm just saying that, well, first of all, it's directed by Olivier Megaton. And he directed Transporter 3, which sucked. And Columbiana almost sucked, but not as bad as Transporter 3. And this one isn't quite as bad as Transporter 3, but still pretty bad. And I don't like uh, Olivier's uh, directing style. It's just not very good. And it just made me frustrated that they couldn't get Pierre Morel, I think that's the director's name, the director of the first Taken movie, to come back to do the second movie. Because I think if Pierre came back to direct this sequel, it would be much better. And hopefully at least good, you know? I didn't expect the movie to be better than the first, but I expected it to be good, and I did not get that. I mean... Some of the action scenes, I'm not going to lie, I enjoyed those. Other action scenes uh, actually hurt my eyes, and I got bored of it, and it had to be the directing style that this director used. I don't know what he was trying to do, but it's it, it just sucked. I just hated the director's uh, style and the action scenes. Um, the moves really aren't as intense or as thrilling as the first one is. And to be honest, this one doesn't... To me, this one's a more slower-paced uh, movie. As in, it doesn't have as much action as the first movie had. So, I don't know. I just... I tried. I really wanted to enjoy Taken 2. And in some of the moves Liam Neeson freaking did on some of the other actors, like, what the heck? Uh, it didn't make sense, alright? I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you watch the movie, you'll see some of the ridiculous moves. Uh, Liam Neeson just does a move, and then they die, and then you're just all like, what the hell? What the hell? It's not well written. Storyline really isn't very good. It's actually stupid. Um... There were a little bit of funny moments to the movie. To be honest, the funniest part is actually the ending. I actually thought the ending was funny. And, um, yeah. I'm not going to say Taken 2 was god-awful. It is pretty bad, but I don't know. There's just something they could have done with this movie to make it so much more better. Whether it's the script, uh, Liam Neeson's acting was good. Maggie Grace, it's pretty good. She's a pretty girl. Well, in the Taken movies, at least with her brunette hair, her black hair. As a blonde, uh, I can't take her seriously. But 
it's overall not too bad. It's not the worst acting I've seen, actually. <sighs> it's just, I don't know. Uh, they could have just done something so much more clever. Um, and the movie is predictable, too. Like, you could pretty much know what's going to go on in the end. In the... Uh, I'm just going to stop from here. I can't even discuss a word about Taken 2 at all. <sighs> I love Liam Neeson. I am a huge fan of his movies. And I am also a huge fan of the first Taken as well. And I actually reviewed the first Taken movie a few days ago. So if you guys want to see my review for the first Taken, uh, there should be an annotation somewhere and you could watch it from there. And I really like the first Taken. This one is just... How can I describe it? Pretty dreadful. <sighs> Pains me to say this. And this is by far the worst Liam Neeson movie I've ever seen. I'm going to be rating a Liam Neeson movie low. I'm going to give Taken 2 one and a half out of four stars. If you want to see Liam Neeson kick some ass, it's fine, but if you want to watch it for that, I think you'll still be disappointed, so it really wouldn't matter anyways. Subscribe to me, comment below and give me your thoughts, like this video, share this video, I hope you all enjoy what you've seen here, and don't forget I have...